Hey friends, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make incredible overnight pizza dough with the awesome Smeg Stand Mixer. So to start off, you want to take your bowl from your Smeg Stand Mixer, put it on a set of scales and weigh out 400 grams of plain white flour and 100 grams of fine semolina. Next up, make sure that you equip your Smeg Mixer with the dough hook. Pop your mixing bowl back on your Smeg Mixer and put it onto a low mixing speed. Fill your jug with 350 ml of room temperature water. Add a teaspoon of dry action yeast to a ramekin and then all you're going to do is add two tablespoons of water on top to start to mix that in to start to hydrate the yeast. Now start to add your water about a quarter at a time to the flour and semolina mixture, allowing it to fully mix in before you add your next quarter. This can take 10 to 15 minutes, so take your time and make sure you have a beautiful, smooth, fully mixed, consistent dough. Now that your dough is fully combined, you want to bind it into a ball as shown. And now with your flour, water and semolina dough, remember the yeast hasn't been added yet. All we're going to do, we're going to cover that with some cling film and a towel. We're going to let that sit for 30 minutes while the yeast hydrates. Now that your dough has been sitting for 30 minutes, we're going to pop it back on the base of the stand mixer. We're going to add in a generous helping of coarse sea salt. Then we're going to start the mixer going on a low dough hook speed. Then we're going to add in that rehydrated yeast mixture. Now that it's mixed into a smooth, consistent ball of dough, what we're going to do is remove the bowl from the stand mixer and we're going to remove the dough from the bowl add in some extra virgin olive oil to make sure that the dough doesn't stick to any of the surfaces while it's proven. Cover the cling film in a tea towel and place in a dark, warm place for 12 hours while you let the dough fully prove. Once the dough has been proven for 12 hours, we're going to generously dust our surface and then we're going to knock the dough back. We do this by kneading it for 5 to 10 minutes. Now mold your dough into a smooth ball and then we're going to cut it into four to give ourselves four separate pizza bases ready to go. Bind each quarter into its own smooth consistent ball and then we're going to pop them to one side. Dust a deep baking tray with plain flour and then pop the balls into the bottom of the tray, cover with cling film and store in the fridge for at least three hours. It's going to keep in the fridge for up to three days. Once the dough is cooled, dust a baking sheet with flour and semolina and then pop your dough ball onto the sheet. Flour your dough and then use your middle and index finger to press the dough, working outwards in a circular motion to create a nice thin crust on the dough. You can either continue doing this or you can stretch the dough by picking it up and stretching it by hand. 
Once you've got a beautiful thin pizza base, we're going to start to add our red sauce. I'm making this pizza very simple with torn basil, olive oil and salt, but you can add all the toppings that your heart desires. Preheat your oven to 270 degrees and cook the pizza for 12 minutes. Remove from the oven, slice up and enjoy. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe for more tasty plant-based food.